Good morning everybody from my shiny face that I just slathered SPF on but welcome back to my channel I hope you're all doing well so today I thought that I would film a couple of days in the life while in Turkey and I'd show you what it's like to stay in a all-inclusive hotel during a pandemic in case you were thinking of traveling out or you're a bit nervous and you're not planning to travel for the next year or two until this is all over with Personally, I don't think that it's going to be over anytime soon. I think it's going to be with us for a very, very long time. And me personally, I just think we have to get on with life and make the best that we can of every situation. Obviously, follow the rules, staying safe, etc. Okay, I'm going to show you all the safety measures that they've put into place to follow rules and regulations and just to make it a little bit more safer for us travelers. And obviously, the hotel is only open because you know. They can now. I think they open 15th of July, this one in particular. But there's so many things that are just different to what I thought it would be. So I thought I'd just share that with you guys and my experience personally. And you know, you make what you will out of it. But anyway, that is what's happening today. We have our swimming costumes on. I have my burkini on, which is what I like and choose to wear. Well, most women choose to wear in the beach or in the swimming pool area and it's like it protects your skin from UV rays and all that stuff and yeah I even bought myself one of these <laughs> you guys can't even see that properly but um it's beach shoes which I'm going to wear at the swimming pool today <laughs> because I don't want to wear my sandals anymore I didn't bring any sliders of any sort which was so silly of me oh that's better but yeah, we're gonna go now. We're gonna go also today. I should probably tell you. Whoa, that's better. Um, I didn't go down for breakfast. Breakfast is what time? Seven till ten. Because I will, I slept at two a.m. last night, and yeah, it was a bit tough. So hubby took both of the kids and went down for breakfast, and I was asleep. And then when they came back, Liana joined me whilst I was sleeping and we slept till 1.45 and lunch I think is 11 till 2.30 but there is like a lot of snack bars open all around the hotel area so you can get food all the time but it just isn't that buffet you know so I haven't eaten and it's what time is it now nearly three o'clock <laughs> 10 minutes to three and I haven't eaten single thing but Next to the water park, there's a little restaurant and you can get cheeseburgers and stuff and drinks, I'm unlimited drinks. What to yeah, today? I'm getting a cheeseburger too. I am sat on the balcony. It's very hot, so the sun is beaming and I'm enjoying this heat because inside they have the AC on and it's far too cold for me. I'm loving this humidity. Plain. Are you holding water? I thought I'd show you what that's like.
us now. No, he's coming back. Tell everybody where we're going. Lunch. Lunch? Yeah. Dinner. Come on, we are off for dinner. So we have come to our reservation at the Turkish restaurant. And I'm gonna speak more about it later on in the room because it's a bit loud and I'm assisting a child with a drink as well as spill. But we're about to eat a delicious meal. Enjoy that and I'll catch you up later on. What drinks do you have? Yes, babe. Mm -hmm. Pretty dark here, but we are off to get the shuttle to the night entertainment. I want to say. Look how dark my hands are compared to my face. Ah! <laughs> yeah. I told him to do a vlog right now. It's night time in Turkey. We're gonna go on first. We are the boat ride. They got like this. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah. Hi, Liana. Um, you in a Ferris wheel? Ah! Yeah. 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 You wanna go that one? Yeah. You're crazy. You wanna go on that one again? Yeah. Ah, flash your image. Oh, this is this is better now. You know? What what did this done? Huh? Why did you say stop? The longer way on here. The, the the less time we need to spend on that. Oh wow, I look so yellow. <laughs> Let me move a bit. <laughs> um, so earlier on, I couldn't really vlog properly because. We got back to the hotel room with an hour to spare to go to our reservation at the Turkish restaurant. So, a bit more on that. Although we are in an all-inclusive, we have found that at this particular resort that we're at, there's only one main huge restaurant that does buffet-style food. There are four other restaurants, I believe, an Italian, a Turkish, Mediterranean, Indian or something, where they charge you service charge. I think it's ten dollars per person. So today, what ten? Twenty. Yeah. So today we had to pay forty. Is it forty dollars? I don't remember exactly. But yeah. So, so the service charge for this restaurant that we went was ten dollars per head. So you're essentially just paying for the table service, not the actual food, because the food is free all over the hotel. And you had to make a reservation. Um, we did try to reserve this. <laughs> this particular restaurant the Turkish one two days ago but it was fully booked out we tried to do the Italian three days ago but it was fully booked out so we have a reservation in two days time for the Italian one um, hi the food is a little bit different as to what you would get in the normal buffet so hi but yeah I thought I'd just mention that for this particular hotel Miley went on the boat uh, again oh, yeah we went to the entertainment after we ate and now we're back here back to the room 
We did have showers earlier on before I got ready and everything, but now we're gonna give them a quick wash because they're sweated buckets, especially her when she was dancing. Um, but we took so many cute photos, so follow me on Instagram to see all of that, as well as daily stories on there. I do update on there every single day, I don't update YouTube every single day because obviously you have to edit it. So, yeah, that's it for today. I'm back at the hotel room now for. 20 minutes and hubby's just giving the kids a shower malik pretty much showers by himself he's nearly seven so he's just gonna wash liana's hair there's so much sand in there and here she is hello we just got back from the night entertainment we went to have our dinner after the beach and yeah today we went to the main restaurant that does the buffet oh thank you thank you so much go wash your hair then yeah, so tonight for dinner we went to the main buffet area and the food was so good When I say so good like you don't even understand. I think this has to be Today anyway it has to be the best food I've had in the buffet Restaurant and the other two restaurants that you had to reserve a table for that there's basically rarely ever Space is available. We've been here for like five six days now and um, Yesterday was the earliest that we could get that table reserved So it's pretty much fully booked all the time Obviously it would be wouldn't it when you're getting like a five star dining experience without having to pay for each meal for each meal but you do have to pay the um, table assistance fees which is like £10 per person which is nothing really compared to what you're getting you're getting different food from what you get to the buffet area and you're getting table service so you don't have to keep getting up but yeah I'm just here to end this vlog I hope you guys have enjoyed it overall would I travel again hundred and thousand percent yes I don't think that the pandemic which if I'm honest I don't think this virus is gonna go anywhere just like the other viruses the flu all of these things are always going to be around there's no way of saying it's going to go away 100 percent ever so you just got to live your life really and be as safe as possible by keeping yourself and your family safe but yeah i'll definitely travel again i don't think that the face mask situation is enough to for me to say i'm never going to travel again you know we love it I honestly feel like it's so nice to take a break from your everyday normal routine and it's just as important for the children because let's not forget they're also human beings <laughs> just as we are in that constant cycle of waking up, getting ready, going to school, going to work, coming home, repeat every single day for years. It's important to have a break, pause that fast paced life and time really does slow down when you come on holiday because you don't have that routine to follow you don't have something to do constantly it's not go 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 it's just chilled relaxed it's a break for your mental health it's a break for everyone really i think it's super important not to mention all the other benefits of traveling with children as hard as it is i don't think the hardships outweigh the positives you know anyway i wasn't meant to get into that um thank you for watching i will catch you in my next video take care of yourselves bye